Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim Poster, and I'm making a video about vindictiveness and BPD. Sorry if I sound a little different this time. I'm using my headphones to record on my phone because I don't have access to my laptop right now. But um, yeah, this video is a request from one of my pen pals. And this is a request from a non-borderline who's trying to understand somebody in their life with BPD. And I thought it was a really good topic because there's a lot of misinformation about people with BPD. There's a lot of stigma and I'm just here to give you an, well, I can't say it's unbiased because I have BPD, but just try to give you a look inside of our minds. Um, try to be as objective as I can describing why we have certain behaviors. And of course, I am not saying that being vindictive or manipulative or abusive or toxic is at all justified because it's not. I'm just simply trying to get to the bottom of like why we behave in certain ways. Sometimes it's baffling and hurtful to our loved ones and they don't really understand it. So I thought of making this video to give anybody out there some hope in understanding their loved one. Or if you have BPD, you can get, show this video to someone in your life who is kind of confused by the things that you do. So something I want to tackle is this question of like, is this behavior happening because the person themselves is a bad person or is this all because of their BPD? Um, I can't really answer that on a, I don't really know every single person that has BPD, but I can give you a breakdown of what it was I was thinking when I behaved in a vengeful, vindictive, manipulative way towards people in my life. I just want to say that a lot of the times when I do act out, I tend to feel shame afterwards. So um, I would say I don't really know that I'm being vindictive when this happens. And I know this sounds like a cop out, but um, let me just explain my thought process. So say that I am in a relationship with someone who doesn't respond to me within a day. And I feel extremely rejected by this because um, maybe I was trying to be sweet with them in a text message and they didn't respond on time. And I wondered where they were at night. I wondered if they were okay. And uh, I just had like really a ba bad abandonment triggers. Um, after feeling this way for hours on end, I could be splitting on them by the next day and wondering why it was okay for them to just forget about me. So the next day comes around and then I realize like, oh, they just went to work and they came home really late from work. They were tired. So they thought to text me in the morning, which they do. They text me in the morning as if everything's fine. They're being sweet. Um, but then in my mind, I'm like, they don't give a shit about me because they would have texted me when they got home. They would have texted me when I was feeling like scared and alone without them. So at this point, since I'm feeling abandonment, even if they didn't mean to make me feel this way, I start having these really black thoughts about the person thinking that they never cared about me in the first place. And I know that if you don't have borderline, this is really hard to imagine because you might be like, well, that just doesn't make any logical sense. Cause if I didn't care about you, I wouldn't be texting you. If you can imagine like how you felt as a child being like left somewhere behind without your mom, just think of like you at age six or five, that, that terrified feeling that you'd never see her again. That's what I feel personally. Can't speak for every borderline, but the intensity for me is that bad. And if I'm feeling that all night, then that's going to do something to my head. That's going to fuck me up a little bit. That's going to change how I view this person. I'm going to feel unsafe. So that's my thought process. And the reason why I would behave in a vindictive way, maybe answering in short replies, maybe saying that I, um, I don't like them anymore. Um, it's because I feel like they deserve to feel as rejected as I feel. Uh, I want them to feel as as scared of losing me as I felt scared of losing them last night. Uh, and it's not okay to behave this way. It's toxic. And I'm not denying that. Um, and I'm not saying that you have to be with somebody just because they have borderline and they're behaving in this way. 
Um, and they, it's not like an excuse. Mental illness is not an excuse and you have every right to leave if this is a toxic person. But um, if you're still trying to understand the person that you care about and they don't really know how to explain it to you, um, I hope that this video helps you. Um, but this is the reason why they're probably behaving in, in a vindictive way. Um, they feel hurt. They feel like they really believe that you have never cared about them as illogical as that seems. Um, they just feel completely abandoned or um, slighted by something that you did. And because they don't have the tools to communicate with you about it, it's coming off as this hostility. I feel so ashamed of all the times that I've reacted in this way. Um, there are some times where like, I would just make below the belt remarks towards people um, and it like confused them because like they didn't talk to me in a long time and the next time they see me I'm just like a totally different person I'm cold cut off I don't care about them anymore and it's just weird um, and I feel so ashamed of like things I've said um, and I admit like I, I was being manipulative I was being um, cold and being very push and pull about my affection. Um, but it was a way to defend myself against a threat, whether or not that threat was valid. I, I don't think that those people meant to hurt me. I think that I misinterpreted some communication, uh, social cues, and um, it wasn't warranted for me to behave in that way. But looking back now, um, I didn't know any better. I didn't know I had a diagnosis. I didn't know that these tendencies even existed. I, I didn't know the names for black and white thinking. I didn't even know what BPD was. So it's important to keep in mind that your borderline loved one has, has been like, they didn't get BPD overnight. They developed it from their childhood, their upbringing and a series of like traumatic events. Um, trauma as in also like complex trauma. It doesn't have to be something um, violent. It could have been anything. It could have been being emotionally invalidated. And this invalidation taught them to protect themselves in really um, aggressive ways, whether that's to lash out at others or whether that's to act in and hurt themselves or distance themselves from people. And I don't know what else to say. Um, because if you're listening to this, I just want you to have an open mind. I'm not trying to defend people with BPD who act out. I'm just simply trying to explain the why behind it. And if you are willing to understand your loved one, then this is great for the relationship. But keep in mind that they also have to be willing to do the work to make themselves better. Because um, if you're the only one prompting them to, to change their ways, then it's just going to become a codependent relationship. That's my advice, and I hope that this was helpful to you. If you have any um, tips and tricks for this same issue of like dealing with a manipulative person, feel free to leave it in the comments, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!